Hi everyone, this is Cody with BridgeCom Systems, and in today's video, we are going to be showing you how to get your very own DMR ID. Now, after you get your call sign and you're getting into DMR, uh, or if you've had your call sign for a long time and you want to get into DMR, uh, you will need a DMR ID. Now, this can be obtained from radioid.net, and today we're going to show you how to do it. So it's a real easy process, but occasionally they update a few things on the website, so we're going to put out the latest and greatest video that will show you how to do it. So let's get started and jump right into the computer. Okay, so now we are over here on the computer. So we are going to uh, go to radioid.net. Now, if you get like a plug and play package from us or you're just getting started with DMR and you need that DMR number, uh, this is the place you will want to get it from. So uh, just go over here to register and scroll down. Uh, just read through all this information. Make sure you agree with it. And we're going to click this agree button and register account. Okay, now we are, are going to be doing a test account. Uh, we've worked with, with radioid.net and, and they understand this is a just simply a test call sign email and everything. This is not going to be a legitimate uh, radio ID and call sign. So I'm just gonna put a fake call sign in here. Okay, so we're, we have to go check our email. So we're gonna go over here, uh, get that email notification just to verify it. There we go, thank you. So we can go back to radio ID, um, and click OK. There we go. So that's verified. Uh, now we're just going to enter a password. OK, and going to check that and create an account. Alrighty, so here we are inside of the account. So now at this point, we do need to actually go get our license. Uh, so we're going to go over to the FCC license manager. Now we will have a link for this in the description. Uh, so you will need your FRN number. Uh, now, if you don't remember your FRN number and don't have it written down, uh, you will have been emailed this at some point. So you can just go over to your email and search for that FRN number, uh, and you should be able to find it. Uh, if not, you can work with the FCC to be able to get that. Or, uh, if you don't have one, uh, you can register with the FCC down here. So we do have one. So we're going to go ahead and enter that. Okay, and then we're going to put in our password and log in. Here we go. So we are inside of our account here. Uh, now, this is going to show you all your information, personal information, email address, your current call sign, uh, when it was effective, when it will expire, everything like that. So what we want to do is go over here to the left-hand column and go down here where it says Download Electronic Authorizations. So if we go here and then uh, select this one, this vanity call sign, and add that. Uh, so we can select all. Here we go. Now we can go over here and click download. Now this is going to download our official copy of our, of our license. So I'm gonna, just going to save that to the desktop. Make sure you save it somewhere that you can remember. Okay. So now if we go back out to our desktop, we have that PDF file here. Open that up. Here we go. Perfect. So this has got uh, all of our information on it. Uh, this is going to be everything you need. You need to make sure it's an official copy. So just make sure it says that official copy. If you get it from the FCC website, it's going to be the, exactly what you need. Uh, go over to Radio ID. Okay, so here we can go ahead and upload uh, that license document. Oh, got to go to choose files and we'll go ahead and upload the license document. Go over to our desktop and select that PDF file that we just downloaded from the FCC. Okay, and then go ahead and click upload. Perfect. So we can go ahead and enter the rest of our information in here. Okay, perfect. And go ahead and save that. There we go. Uh, so here we go. So we have everything done. Uh, we will have to wait on them to actually approve it. Uh, so we are going to wait for an email from radioid.net. And as soon as we get that, we will be back with you and we will have a number. Okay, so we have been waiting here. It's been about 15 minutes and we do have our confirmation now. Uh, now this can take, uh, I would usually give it about one business day. Uh, it could be slower, it could be faster. Uh, 
So just go ahead and give it that much time. They're uh, usually really fast, so likely you'll get it faster than that. Uh, but just in case, go ahead and give it extra time. So we are going to refresh our page here. And uh, let me just make sure, yep, we've got everything. So I will go ahead and refresh this. And perfect, we can see we're verified. Uh, we do have a, a radio ID. Now we'll go over to our email and you can see account approval with our test call sign. And uh, here we go. So we have we are now approved. Welcome to digital radio. This is cool. Okay, so now if we click here, we can view our ID. Here we go. So we've got our radio ID down here. Uh, so now this is what you can enter in with your code plug, or if you're getting a plug and play package from us, now you'll just give us the radio ID and your call sign. Uh, so there we go, it's really that easy. Uh, keep in mind these are, this is a test call sign and a test radio ID. Uh, these are not legitimate. We've worked with radioid.net to be able to make this video for you. Uh, so that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and uh, check out some of our other helpful tutorial videos. So I look forward to seeing you on the air. This is Cody, W3AMG from BridgeCom Systems. 7-3.